Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to the last part or rather part 5 of the more kaiju mod. So yes, we have come to the end of the uh, more kaiju mod showcase which I'll be showcasing all of the creatures behind me. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin. First up is this metallic looking ant called Terminant or rather the Terminant Queen which I, it has a bio which I'm going to read off to you now. Large insect-like titans that emerged from the earth more recently, they kept to themselves outside of human civilization. Attempts to capture one were unsuccessful since the rest of the hive rose to defend their kind. Merely a pest or a food source to larger titans, Terminants have fallen prey to titans such as Sasorasu or Apex. Although they have a bite powerful enough to cause lasting pain for days for titans as tough as Ruclias, they often battle for territory against other smaller titans, and even prey on larger insect-like titans like Terra, Terra Titan. So this particular Queen Ant actually has um, workers, or rather can summon workers, and if I'm not wrong she can fly too, yeah she can fly, except she's... Actually no, she can't fly, she just jumped really really high. So yeah, let's take a look at its abilities. So first of its ability is the left click attack, which is a bite. This bite inflicts acidic blood, which not sure what it does, but it does something. Right click is iron jaw, which demolishes armor. Um, but for the looks of it, it's this guy doesn't have much armor, so you can't really show it. C key is summon worker. Which they can summon a total of maximum 31 of workers. Oh, the hell. Okay, I, I wasn't expecting them to come and fight. But yeah, this guy can summon workers and stuff like that. I should spawn further away so that my creatures don't come and fight them. But yeah. So to, to explain further, the summon workers ability summons a total of 31. Workers, splitters, and elites. So it's a mixture of creatures. So X key is a speed attack, which has a cooldown apparently. There you go. So this applies a acid fuel where whichever creature is inside this fuel will constantly take damage and also will be inflicted with acidic blood. And it only affects enemies and the take damage skills will be and the last of this. Well, not abilities. Oh god. Okay. The last of its uh, not really abilities, but more of its uh, features is a left control, which is a raw. That kind of terrifying. Now, now that we went through all of the abilities, I'm gonna read off to you its boss notes. Reduces 60% of incoming damage due to her armor. Has a special taming method, which I have no idea of because it's not shown here. Uh, but it's a boss has slow attack speed even when mounted and around the same damage as a tame giga though her, her skills better than the giga immune to acid burn bleed slow crippled stun infected wounds and lethal wounding it is two times weak to uh, fire and explosions and four times uh, weak against magma saw fireballs aoe buffs up allied terminant with some damage and resistance as well as increasing stamina regen Right, and yeah, that was the Terminant Queen. Uh, just, you know, ant that has metal metal. Next up is this guy, this five-headed Hydra-looking guy. Is it five-headed? Yeah, five-headed. Hydra-looking guy called Ragnarola. So Ragnarola, I'm gonna read out his uh, bio to you. A titan of unknown origin. Ragnarola's body consists of a black sludge that resembles dark blood. Controlled by a single brain that exists within the enormous pool of liquid, Ragno Rona can harden and liquefy his bodies to suit the situation, changing its form and size. Within the terrifying ma mass exist the breeze and skeletons remaining for prey is consumed. Most often taking a monstrous form with a long neck and sharp teeth, or turning into a pool of liquid and splitting his body into multiple creatures, the weakness of this horrifying titan was its relatively squishy brain and the fact that its body had to be connected to the brain uh, to control. Ragnarona had a habit of consuming pieces of the plague and absorbing them. One of Ragnarona's, uh, sorry, one of the four titans that led the charge against the plague infection, Ragnarona did not necessarily receive damage, but it appears that it will eventually become corrupted due to ingesting the plague directly. 
although it seemed to have resistance to the infection. Vals and Kaita were no fan of Ragnarona's ferocious appetite, but acknowledged its brutal effectiveness in combat. Ragnarona's body at its hardest is more durable than steel, though it's in this state, parts of its body uh, in this state are extremely stiff. Ragnarona's body seems to solidify and crumble rapidly when separated from the brain, although its brain can produce more liquid to repair its body. Ragnarona possesses several organs, including one that allows it to produce a deafening sonic roar as well as eyes. It lacks its stomach and instead controls what it wishes to absorb by breaking it down with its liquid body. It appears that some organic matter cannot be digested by Ragnarona and vice versa for inorganic. So yeah, this guy has a um, bunch of abilities actually, which I'm gonna go through now. What? Damn, that was terrifying. So, left click is a bite attack that it hits 5 times. Yep, as you can tell, it actually kind of hit 5 times, so you can read it. Right click is a claw swipe attack. It probably has like arms. Like, it's a very, very close range claw swipe attack. This claw swipe attack inflicts <laughs> Shredded, Ragnarok Venom, and Kaiju Bleed. So, 3 different status effects. C key is Black Blood Breath, which inflicts Mad Blood Curse. Okay, C key is oh, sorry, X key is Screech Alpha, which dismounts the Rider. Well, that doesn't seem like it dismounts me. And apparently, this does damage, which I'm gonna try again. Ah uh, yeah, it, it did damage, it did 168 damage to this guy. Right control is blood spikes. It summons a blood sludge around itself and although spikes only spawn at least 2000 units away. No idea what I do. Oh god. Okay. And apparently it summons a bunch of from minions as well, which are just sucko suckers. Just carrying apart this poor brother saw Jesus Christ. So yeah, uh, oh okay, so apparently each of the spikes summons a minion, a maximum of 15 minions, and in this case, a maximum of 15 Sarko circuses. And yeah, even though this creature is not really, you know, doesn't have much abilities, that is actually has very powerful abilities, and that's actually all for this creature. And the boss notes has only one thing to say, it's immune to map blood debuff, blood drain, blood bleed debuffs, Acid burn and radiation, so it's immune to a lot of the status effect in the game. And honestly, this looks terrifying. Imagine just running away. And yeah, that's it for this guy, the Ragno Rona. A very ugly but disgusting creature. Up next are uh, less Kaijus but more mechs. So the Jaegers, or these guys here, uh, come in relatively the same shape and form uh, however uh, there's one that is particularly different which is the anti kaiju jaeger but i'll be going through that later first up we're going to go through uh, either one of these two which has the same thing which is the rogue jaeger and the tamed jaeger so its abilities are the same as the uh, mech where the left click is just a you know simple swipe attack right click is a punch for this guy C key is an impaling attack which instead of you know the usual random swipe attack from the mech uh, is actually a purposeful ability that deals additional damage to kaiju and inflicts bleeding which I'm gonna summon a actually not here but let's try it out hold on and I'll summon a sauropod to try this out if I press C it inflicts kaiju bleed The left click doesn't really do much, the right click doesn't really do much. Or rather, the right click does do cripple. That's the thing, cripple. The X key is an EMP or absolute zero, which um, doesn't work for this guy. And left control is the main cannon of attack. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the main cannon attack. Which inflicts electrocute, apparently. And yeah, that's it for the Rogue Jaeger. There are, there's a one more Jaeger down on which is 
this big boy here. So, to show you what it looks like, it looks like this. It looks honestly way cooler than the normal mech. I'm pretty sure it's a Mega Mech though, but let's take a look at his abilities, which I'm going to summon a sword pot again for. So, right click is a claw, or rather a sword attack that deals Kaiju bleed. Never mind, the guy just disappeared. Let me summon another one. Left click is a is a sword attack that deals Kaiju bleed. Right click is another uh, sword attack that deals cripple. X key fires at the end. That dealt absolutely nothing. I have no idea what the hell was that. C key is an impaling attack that deals uh, Kaiju Blue also. But also the animation of it is quite cool. And left control is the main cannon attack which, you know, goes like this. But it's a bit hard to aim because, you know, it just flew off to god knows where. This is the EMP attack again but... Also Oh, okay. Apparently it's not an EMP attack. It's a uh, kind of like an absolute zero cannon, which is hard, hard to aim. That's just very hard to aim. Let's try this again. Yep, let's try this again. Yep, it's just a very, very powerful ice breath. But it's hard to aim because even though you're facing in this particular direction, uh, the beam will fire in the front or rather where the front of the mech is facing so yeah you have to watch out for that and for all of the mechs uh, there is a some notes on him they're immune to bleed and some other debuffs the category b's are bosses which is this one here they're all classified as robots insulation when riding the jaegers slight armor on the category b variant and can be created and spawns at random level most likely in the upper levels of your server limit and, and continuing the trend of the Jaegers or robots, we have this guy here, the Exo Jaeger, which has these abilities, but I need to get him out of the water first. So, for this guy, his left click is a punch attack, which, you know, just a standard punch attack. His right click enables a charge forward. Wait, what? Okay, apparently his right click is not a charge forward. Oh, what? Okay, it's a bit weird, but apparently it's right click um, is a double arm slam that cripples the creature, but apparently they say they can have a charge forward attack. Its C key is a chest laser attack, which was kind of what you saw just now when I was going to the turn hand. And... Oh, left control is to toggle the charging. So now that charge is available, I can hold, I can press right click and it will charge forward. Like a rugby player, to be honest. So left control is to swap between your arm smash and your charge attack. So the abilities that he has to summarize again, because a lot of the, the things on the uh, discussion page is not really, you know, workable. Left control is to toggle be between charging and the arm smash attack. Uh, right click is if on charging you'll charge forward on arm smash you will just arm smash and now I'm on charging so you just rush forward like that. Left click is a punch attack, a little standard punch attack. And uh, C key is a chest laser. Which you can aim pretty easily actually. And for the notes of this particular mech. It is immune to bleed, uh, electric creature, radiation, blood drain, scalded, poop hit and Dilo Poison. Only classified as a robot when tamed, is immune to fall damage, can be told to enter a low power mode which increases regeneration rate. Like so, I'm gonna beat your ass first, you stupid. Zero for so. Like so, this is the low power mode. Which basically, uh, it'll go to like something like a down state. And you can see it has a rapid regeneration buff to it. And once it's up, the reputation regeneration buff is gone. And uh, this particular mech is a knockout team like other kaiju because of laziness. Only can be fed, or can only can be fed the reprogrammer. No idea what the reprogrammer is. 
And with that, I have come to the end of the more kaiju mod as a whole. Finally, because this has been going on for you know five uh, videos already, and I do want to make uh, other videos on other mods too. So this is uh, like this is a finally thing. And just a heads up, I will not be uploading or streaming next week because uh, I am currently going to do my midterms. Hence, I will not be doing any of those stuff. With that being the case, this has been Kasu, and I hope to see all of you in the next video or stream. Bye! I'm terrified to ask you to say bye, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> Terrifying. Alright, bye!